Bitcoin and Ethereum have been at the forefront of market sell-offs that were triggered by the UST crash. Since then, sellers have continued to dominate the market and even with buyers making significant moves, it continues to be a seller's market. The hope had been that a reversal in this trend would be witnessed with the start of the new week. However, inflow and outflow trends have indicated that sell-offs may continue for much longer. For Monday, there were some encouraging reversals in the price of major digital assets in the space. These included the reclaiming of $30,000 on the part of Bitcoin, while Ethereum had recovered once more above $2,000. However, this would prove to only make an already bad situation worse as sellers had ramped up inflows into exchanges to realize some gains. Related reading MicroStrategy will not dump any of its Bitcoin, CFO reveals what this resulted in was more than $1.1 1 billion in BTC flowing into exchanges in a single day. This showed a reversal from the previous day of net flows that had seen outflows surpass inflows once more. Monday was much worse as centralized exchanges saw net inflows of $67 million in a single day period. The same was the case for the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, Ethereum, whose net flows were also positive, even surpassing that of Bitcoin. ETH had seen exchange inflows as high as $589, 4 million in a 24-hour period while outflows had come out to $497, 4 million. What this amounted to was a $92 million net flow. This indicates that there are even more sellers in ETH than there are in Bitcoin. As such, the decline of the digital asset below $2. Was expected. The inflow and outflow trends have been alternating for a time now. This is evident in the past two days alone where net flows have been negative one day and then positive the next. Going off this trend, it is possible to deduce that there could very well be a reversal following Tuesday's trading day. Related reading